Hi friend, this is Mandeep and you are watching High Technology TV. So, as told you in my earlier video that we are going to make a video series to cover S4 HANA upgrade from 2020 to 2022. So, this is the first video of our update activity that we are going to perform. Okay, and this is the plan for upgrade that we are going to follow. So, I will try to cover all the aspects of a upgrade that we need to do and uh, if if i missed something you can ask your questions on the comments so let's begin so the first activity that let's start with the prerequisite so in today's video we are going to cover all these things till here okay so the first one is verify the sum directory and in up space then latest data to the SAP support portal, then verify fees, then plan in maintenance planner, choose targets SAP stack, then dependent and independent component, then we need to remove the component if needed, then generate the stack file and download the update media. So these are the steps that we are going to perform in our this video. So let's begin. Okay, so let's begin with the sum directory. Okay, here you can see that we have USRSP sum with 300 GB of space. So that is okay. If we require more space, then we can ask our Linux or Infra team to provide more. Okay, but it seems to be fine right now. Then regarding the our system, the latest data, as you can see that today's is 14th and the last replicated date is of today. Okay, and this is our system. So let me show you the system also. So this is our system guys. These are the installed product version S4 HANA on premise 2020 SPS2. Okay. And all the other components are also on SP02. You can see here. So let's go back to our jump server S20. Click on that. Let's click on verify. So here you can see that FES is on 2, then Fury for S4 HANA 2, S4 HANA SP02, ABAP Platform 02, and then S4 HANA Foundation 02. So it seems that all the component is okay. And we can start our activity, go back. Now click on plan. So guys, this is if uh, if you are a beginner or you can say that you are a fresher or you are just learning SAP, then this is the maintenance planner tool provided by SAP. Okay, and we are going to use this. So this is the only tool that we need to plan this activity. So let's plan. So here we need to select plan and S4 HANA upgrade. Select this. Then we need to select the target version S4 HANA 2020 and we need we are going with the initial supplement stack. Choose this. Okay, so regarding the OSDV product availability matrix, we already check checked the PAM. Okay, mm -hmm. if you want to see, just open this, click continue. Confirm selection. So here you can see that our FES is also going to the initial submit. Then Fury for SAP HANA is also initial. Okay. Then S4 HANA 2020. Then S4 HANA Foundation. Then a back platform. So these are the component, okay, which we are going to update. Click on next. Okay, so here we need to select the OSDB files. So ours is on Linux x86. Expand that. 
so regarding the DB we need to select this kernel file then EPL4 HANA client HANA database is already there that is not required IGS then sum so sum is the tool through which we will execute the upgrade so after selecting all these click on confirm selection so here it is saying that please refer to the solution section in this to manually verify the compatibility between SAP kernel and SAP IGS version so you can check this SAP note let me open this also click continue Okay, so here it will show all the details. Okay, click on next. So the next step is that we need to download the stack file. Then we need to push all these files into our download basket and then we have to download that. Okay, so first of all, let's download the stack file. Let's download it push to the download basket so 106 objects added to the download basket good now download the pdf and then download the export so if you can see this pdf it will tell you the whole thing okay so the current status is this S20 and these are the component and then the plan changes is this and here you can see that these are the changes which you are going to do. This will be the target system after the upgrade. Okay, size of delta file is this. Everything will be mentioned here. Okay, so now let's check this. If you are a SAP using the this kernel, then you need to install the IGS 781. Okay, go back here. Okay, let's see what is our IGS. IGS is 781. Okay, then from selection, continue. So, guys, you just need to make sure that all the kernel and all the dependent files and the component is you can say compatible. Otherwise, what will happen? You will face the error or your upgrade will be in the interval. Okay, so just make sure that you need to be very careful when you are planning your upgrade okay so click next so as i already post all these uh, files to my download basket let's download them
so guys here you can see that we have two files which is from april okay so let's do one thing date and time okay yeah now all the latest file is on the top so just select them may 14 okay so these are the files let's go to the view download manager configuration download store d and s4 20 20 media select this click ok okay we need to select name again and now click on this button sorry guys i made a mistake let me stop it i need to click on this button download selected i object only okay click on that so here you can, here you can see that 16106 is the total object and files that we need to download so guys it is going to take a you can say hour or two hour let's wait for that okay after that i will start a new or you can say press video that will be starting from here okay so i hope you guys like this video thanks for watching have a great day